He was such a pathetic pleaser, willing to do anything for a little affectionate praise. Still, he couldn't help himself, and he focused on his breathing, willing his muscles to slacken even more. Yes, you're doing great. This makes it so much easier for me to reach the areas where I need to be, Reese said, his voice taking on that warm affirmation. Do you feel the pain lessen as well? It won't hurt nearly as much if you manage to stay relaxed. How about that? The kid was right. And so Cornell focused on relaxing and breathing, soaking up Reese's casual words of praise like a dying plant soaking up the sunlight. This was a special kind of torture, Reese felt. Not so much touching Cornell, because that was too clinical and focused on helping him to be sexual. No, it was the way Cornell responded to his every word of praise. The man was so hungry for it, and it was hard for Reese to find the right balance. He wanted to give him what he needed, but without taking it too far. Cornell couldn't realize yet that Reese was on to him, though the question was how long he could keep that up. His mother's words came to mind about Cornell becoming uncomfortable when he found out. They were far beyond uncomfortable now. If Cornell discovered it and knew that Reese had used praise on purpose to subtly steer him, he'd be livid. And maybe he'd have a right to be. It did feel like manipulating him, even if he was doing it with the very best intentions. No, he should tell him. Soon. Cornell needed to know so they could at least be open about that. And maybe, just maybe, he'd be open to playing together. It wasn't like he had a ton of options right now, not with him being confined to the house, way out in the boonies, as his dad had always called it. Not many doms would be willing to come all the way out here, not for a sub who had so many limitations. Cornell's shoulder reacted wonderfully to the massage the tissue already becoming more supple under his administrations. Good. That meant he responded well to massage, which he could have predicted, considering how quickly he always reacted to even the simplest touch. Reese rested his hands on Cornell's body. How does that feel? He checked. Good. Came the somewhat drowsy answer. It hurt at first, but it got much better. Reese's heart swelled. What do you say about a little relaxing massage as a reward? You know, me needing a bit of tension out of your body. He held his breath. Had he gone too far? Um, yes, please. Your hands feel amazing, Cornell said, his voice still dreamy. Reese smiled as he poured more oil on the man's back, then rubbed it in with slow, deep moves. He doubted Cornell was even fully aware of what he was saying. It had sounded like he'd been half asleep, his body relaxed, and his mind someplace else. Well, Reese could help there and make him relax and fall asleep completely. I've got you, he said, keeping his voice soft his hands finding knots and massaging them until they became fluid and warm. It was routine for him, usually, but this time he couldn't look away from the body he was working on. What was it about Cornell that drew him in? He wasn't even sure, and he'd had years to think about it by now. He wasn't overly muscled. On the contrary, he had a lean runner's build thanks to the marathons he used to run before a torn ACL in his left knee made him stop. Toned, definitely, but not like a six-pack. It was more about an innate grace he had, a magnetic energy that pulled Reese in. Every time he was in the same room as Cornell, the man would draw him in like a helpless bee to a flower. <laughs> 